Hi all, Renee here. I have a scrapbooking workshop that I'm going to put together today and I thought I'd turn on the camera and capture putting it together. This one looks like a really fun one. I love the colors. Um, I love the sunflowers and the the deep, the deep dark reds and the yellows and, and um, pinkish together. I just think those are really pretty um, together, cut together. Um, the optional technique on this is stamping, although I'm not going to do any stamping on this today. I'm going to keep it simple. So it does make three two-page layouts, so six pages total. Um, the kit comes with these great wood shapes that are just so cute. Um, can't wait to use those. And I've already done all my cutting and I've already popped out my die cuts. It also comes with a sticker sheet that is just beautiful. Again, I love these colors. Um, just really, really pretty and I love these. I can't wait to see where we use those. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some music on and just get crafting. So I hope you enjoy and I'll be back at the end to show you what everything looks like.
I really like the way these came out. Um, these were very fun to do and they really weren't that difficult. I had a little problem here in the corner, not exactly knowing how to get it started. Um, but I think if you just put this one right in the corner and then put an extra piece there, um, and then when you're doing this one, you don't have to actually do all of the ones that it has on the instruction sheet because it actually covers up some of those pieces. So it worked out great that I had some little extra pieces left from this where I cut off to put on here. But I really like the way that this comes out. That's very, very, very neat how they do that. And a lot of those squares are die cuts, so you don't even have to cut it yourself which is nice. So <clears throat> then there's this one. I really like how this one came out as well. I think it goes this way actually. Yeah. I really like how it comes out. I think um, <clears throat> when I did the second page, I linked them all together with tape. I think that would have been easier to do on this one as well. I am probably going to go in here and trim that just a little bit to get it straight. Um, but I really like how this one came out as well. And then this one, I think, is probably my favorite one. Um, I just, these were all die cuts, so I didn't have to try to cut those by hand, so that was really nice. Um, I did not get the, like I said in the beginning, I didn't get the um, stamp pad, the stamp set for this. If you get the stamp set, it makes these flowers. Um, and the flowers that are behind here. Now it does appear that I, I miscut and I didn't cut a piece that was supposed to go under here. It was supposed to be double matted like these ones. So I may go back and pull that up. I didn't glue it down very much. Um, I may go down and pull that up. Um, I did have some extra stickers. So I put these two flowers and the heart and the leaf. And then these, these uh, banners are supposed to be on another page and I missed them. So no big deal. I put them here. But <clears throat> I ended up with this kit, I ended up using all the sticker sheets. So that was great. So thank you so much for watching today. If you have any questions about this kit, it's called Bloom with Grace. Um, just let me know, leave me a comment down below. I'll be happy to get back to you. And um, I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for being here. Bye.